he buried it in the ground without sand and it looks pretty cool uh it's a cool half rack it's a little bit darker than i would like you know this is all natural i mean the mud is sitting all over the bone as it decays uh, as the flesh decays and such the mud's hitting it and, and as you can see it kind of stains it you know uh, the antlers i remember seeing this deer when he killed it like right there in particular it wasn't that dark so this mud has stained the deer throughout like the base of its skull there it's a little bit darker if you can see that so overall it's pretty cool but that's why we use the sand we'll just throw it over top like so a couple bricks and that's it boys and girls Eight months ago, we buried a deer head. Today, we dig it up. So if you guys don't remember, eight months ago, I uploaded a video right here on Mooch Life. If this is your first time coming to my channel, please consider subscribing. We do a lot of hunting content, Chevrolet content, cars and trucks, and life content. So this deer head, eight months ago, I buried this thing right here in this spot, right in my backyard. We put sand in the ground because mud will stain the deer head, as you can tell with the one I showed you in that previous video that I just clipped. Now we got the deer head out of the ground, and I can tell already that it is a cleaner version for sure. It's got some sand on it. It's got a little bit of leftover tissue here. So I'm going to take it over and uh, hose it off and then we'll uh, show you this awesome deer mount. I'm excited. So don't forget your glove protection if you want to get any leftover guts and skits, guts and skits on you. Let me turn the hose on. I think we'll do a little pre-soak with a shower. What do you say? Now it's time to turn it up. Jet power. Yeah, that's not coming off. course guys fix your divots we don't want mrs. mooch coming out here throwing a fit put your dirt back that little grass seed in the summer there be right as rain Let's get this beauty in the garage, go over it, compare it to the other deer head. Check that out. Looking good, guys. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Let's go over these for you here and show you the difference here, explain it a little bit. This deer head here 
This is the one we just dug up. Oh my god. So this this head here is the one we buried in sand, we just dug up today. This is the one we buried last year in the mud. And if you look closely, the right side is a lot whiter than the right side. Especially if you come in the back, this is where you can really tell the difference. Look at the base of the skull on that deer head. And then look at it on this one. Major difference. And the camera tries to color correct too. It's probably even more dramatic in person than it is on camera. Down at it from the top. See these top holes here, the foramen? All dirty around there. All the suture lines, base of the skull. It's like tan, dark brown. You can come over here, it's like barely tan, almost whitish. Does it work to bury the deer head in the sand as opposed to the mud? And the answer is, it does. You have to have a little bit of patience. Um, eight months I left that buried. Right now it is September. This deer head I know was taken out of the ground in like May um, of, was it last year or maybe the year before? The thing with this deer head, I think being in the mud I don't know if it's the dirt or what's in the dirt or if the critters crawl around easier in the dirt but the decomposition was quicker with this one and just the mud and I don't know if that has to do with like animals coming in and eating the flesh and stuff um, this one took longer I did actually pull this out in like early June and it wasn't even close um, I was able to the hair was everywhere all over it I was able to peel it off kind of easily but it just I felt weird about it so I just put it back in the ground I don't know if the climate was different from two years ago that that could have affected it maybe I'm not sure but it was worth the wait you can do this it's easy just throw it in the ground and forget about it um, the only thing I did was I put this like tote over the hole and then I put that brick on top of it that way it was heavy and uh, didn't have to risk like raccoon or whatever fox something trying to get in there and eat it and steal it or whatever so this deer is a little bit older than this one. He's got a longer snout. His teeth were, his teeth and jawline were a little bit wider. I just, I'm not going to flip them over. I have them zip strapped together because this one's a half rack, so it like falls over. I just wanted them in shot together like this. So let me know what you guys think. Um, is the sand method something you're willing to try? Drop a comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hunting season's around the corner. We're going to be up in the tree stand with the crossbow. We're going to be in the tree stand with the rifle. So stay tuned for some hunting videos coming up this year. And uh, thanks for watching Mooch Life. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to. And peace out.